Hi students, I am again came with a new chapter, the earth in the solar system. First of all, we can see something in introduction. Okay, the whole sky is filled with tiny shining objects. Some are bright, others dim. It seems as if the sky is studded with diamonds that all appear to be twinkling. They simply glow without any flicker, just as the moon shines. It may, however, appear at different times, in different shapes and at different positions. It is full moon night or Purnima. It is a new moon night or Amavasya. The term solar system refers to the family of the sun. The sun is a star around which eight planets, among other celestial objects, revolve in orbits. This whole system of bodies is called the solar system. The sun is the head of this system. Let us see some important terms. First one, celestial bodies. The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called the celestial bodies. The next one is stars. Some celestial bodies are very big and hot. They are made up of gases. They have their own heat and light. These celestial bodies are called stars. The sun is also a star. The next one is constellations. Ursa Major or Big Bear is one such constellation. One of the most easily recognizable constellation is the Small Bear or Saptarishi. It is a group of seven stars that forms a part of large Ursa Major constellation. While watching the night sky, you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars. These are called constellations. The next one is Pole Star. In ancient times, People used to determine directions during the night with the help of stars. The north star indicates the north direction. It remains in the same position in the sky. We can locate the position of the pole star with the help of Saptarishi. It is also called the pole star. The next one is planet. Some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light. They are lit by the light of the stars. Such bodies are called planets. The word planet comes from the Greek word planetai, which means wanderers. The earth on which we live is a planet. Now, move to the next session, the solar system. The sun, eight planets, satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids form the solar system. We often call it a solar family with the sun as its head. The next one and the important one is the sun. The sun is in the center of the solar system. It is huge and made up of extremely hot gases. It provides the pulling force that binds the solar system. The sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system. But that tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because despite being our nearest star, it is far away from us. The sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth. The next one is Planets. There are eight planets in our solar system. In order of their distance from the sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. All the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in fixed paths. These paths are elongated. These are called the orbits. Mercury is nearest to the sun. The next one is Earth. The Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun. In size, it is the fifth largest planet. It is slightly flattened at the poles. This is why its shape is described as a geoid. Geoid means an Earth-like shape. The Earth is neither too hot nor too cold. It has water and air, which are very essential for our survival. The air has life-supporting gases like oxygen. Because of these reasons, the Earth is a unique planet in the solar system. From the outer space, the Earth appears blue because its two-third surface is covered by water. It is therefore called a blue planet. The next one is Moon. Moon is the only natural satellite of our planet Earth. Its diameter is just about the quarter of Earth's diameter. It is comparatively closer to the Earth than all other celestial bodies. It does not support life. It involves around the Earth and rotates about its own axis in about the same time, due to which only one side of the Moon is visible to us. 
The next one is asteroids. Apart from the stars, planets and satellites, there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun. These bodies are called asteroids. They are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Scientists are of the view that asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back. The next one is meteoroids. The small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteoroids. Sometimes these meteoroids come near the earth and tend to drop upon it. During this process, due to friction with the air, they get heated up and burn. It causes a flash of light. Sometimes a meteor without being completely burned falls on the earth and creates a hollow. The next and the final one is the galaxy. It is a term that refers to billions of stars, clouds or dust and gases and other celestial bodies considered as a single unit. The only bigger unit is the universe. Galaxies make up the universe. The galaxy we live in is called the Milky Way. Okay students, I hope all of you understood this session. We will reach you on the next session. Bye!